All right, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm a little hype. I recently figured out uh, a good configuration for my MUT. So MUT is a terminal email client. I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, here we go. Um, so MUT is notorious for being a little difficult to modify once you first got it, uh, but it's extremely powerful. And I'm now at the point where it's my primary uh, uh, email client. I do have Thunderbird installed on this machine, but I don't really even need it anymore. Um, so once you get into it, it has a pre pretty bla basic display. You can change pretty much everything about it. So if I open my MUD RC down here, you'll notice, um, let's see. Um, so, you know, I have it by reverse date. I use Vim as an editor. Uh, you can change when it updates with the timeout and mail check commands. Um, and you can set like the date format and the index format, all that kind of stuff like that. Um, and then also if you have NeoMutt, I have NeoMutt, it allows you like a little more customizability. Um, so like you notice all the senders are in red, you know, all the titles are in teal. You can do that in NeoMutt. Doesn't work on vanilla Mutt, but you should, might as well install NeoMutt. Um, I've made some like general modifications like uh, D is down a page, uh, U is up a page. Uh, sort of making it more Vim-like for my perspective. Um, and then, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk about how it works. You might know already, so M is mail. Let's say I want to mail to uh, one of my other email accounts. Um, just put it in, subject, subject. Uh, and then it'll open up whatever your text editor is. Mine is Vim, and you can go ahead and type your message. This is a uh, message. Um, and you just save the file and then press Y. Uh, and put in your password. Also on the screen you can press like A to attach an image or file or something like that. Um, so yeah, you can do pretty much, uh, oh, I'm putting in the wrong password. Um, so yeah, I mean it works pretty much just like any other uh, email client, uh, just in the terminal. Uh, but the thing is, um, so l let's talk about some of the customization I have. Um, now, the nice thing about MudRC is that you can source other files in it. So a lot of people won't just have one MudRC, they'll actually have like a bunch of sub, um, you know, configuration files where they have specific settings. So by default, it call, uh, mine calls this uh, file, which is really the configs for my Gmail account. Here they are over here. Um, and I also have some like specific uh, macros specific to it. I think I got these from Gopledu. Uh, he has a video on MUT, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, so the, these are like uh, for changing to different folders. So let's say I want to change to my sending folder. Um, or like change to any other. Um, it works pretty much as you'd expect. Now the thing, the reason I have these in here and not in the MUT RC is just because um, uh, these are like specific to your folder structure. So on a different email account, you might have different folder structures. Um, so you won't, you'll, for your different emails, you're going to want to have different macros for these. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, let me actually, let's log on to another email. Um, so down here, I also got these from Gobbledu's um, video on it. He has um, some uh, basically macros that sync the mailbox and then switch the source file to another uh, email. So K will do that. That'll switch the email I sent that mail to before. Let me, I think that's my password. Yeah, so there's our email. Um, so yeah, that's nice. But uh, one of the big deal breakers for me originally when I started using MUT is that uh, like it was really hard to type out all the email addresses I wanted to send stuff to. So specifically, I might want to send like a, an email out to like all of my students, and I have lots of them. And it's a, it'd be a pain to like type all the email addresses in. But one of the nice things you can do is have aliases. Um, so here I source different aliases, this alias file, and here I have a bunch of them listed out. Um, so uh, let's say I want to email someone on this. Uh, let's say I want to email Ryan. Um, so I have his alias. Uh, I don't want to type out his entire email. So instead, uh, I've aliased it to just Ryan. So if I'm in MUT, I can just say Ryan uh, and then, you know, uh, email. Um, LMAO, your shit, I can't write today, uh, famous. Um, so yeah, and you see it'll actually put his uh, two email, uh, I mean his actual address in there even though I don't have to type it out. Now, what does that have to do with like sending, let's go ahead and send it to you. 
Uh, he'll see it eventually. He'll be like, what the hell is this? Um, so let's say, um, and you can do the same thing with, um, you know, like groups of people. So let's say I want to send something to Ryan and Trevor and, you know, lots of other people. You can really just say alias and then a group, and you can, like, list out different emails. So, like, Billy at Gmail, comma, uh, you know, Sandra at Gmail, dot com comma blah 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 so you can actually just list out emails in sequence uh, and whenever you type the keyword it'll automatically like send it to all of those people uh, so that's one of the reasons I mean that was sort of like once I hit that I was like oh god now I can do everything I really need to um, so let's see any other recommendations I will say one thing um, I send everything in plain text. A lot of people will be tempted to send everything as HTML because, you know, in HTML you can like do different colors. I will just say it's a little more difficult to do that than you might think. Um, it, I put a lot of effort into like getting the formatting right, but yeah, you can send an, uh, a message as an email um, or as a HTML file, but once you like get it back, you'll have to like convert it and you'll have to have some way of doing that. So I recommend just having everything in plain text. Um, aside from that, um, you really should just jump into this thing um, because it's. I don't even need uh, Thunderbird. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just uninstall Thunderbird. We don't even need it anymore. Don't even need it. Um, well, technically, I have Ice Dove, not Thunderbird, but you know, it's the same thing. Just get rid of it. Look at that, 80 gigs or 80 megs, 80 gigs. That would be enormous. Well, anyway, don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, so yeah, that's Mutt. Now, here's the thing: I'm not done with Mutt at all. There are a couple other things I'm trying to get working soon. Uh, one of them is mobile IMAPs. So that'll let me like um, basically have all my mail offline. Uh, I'm still trying to work out the kinks with that. And there are some other things I want to have like notification scripts. I'm still working on that as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll put up a video when I do. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have a video. I'm working on scripts now just um, for installing my rice. A lot of people have asked, uh, oh, yeah, w are you going to do a video showing us how to rice the computer to get, you know, exactly your configs? I'm actually going to put up some scripts soon, and they're going to have all of that stuff in it. Um, so you can basically just take a, a, a raw install of Arch and run the scripts and you'll get everything. So that, that's coming in the near future. But uh, there's, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys around.